Okay, hey guys. Um, so we're gonna do uh, some uh, quick little iPad um, tutorial session on how to calculate velocity. So um, a lot of you guys already know how to do this. So if, if you feel good about it, don't worry about watching the video. But I'm drawing the iPad. You should see my face also. You'll see the iPad screen. Um, okay, so velocity we know is distance divided by time. Now. Um, in this uh, in this activity that we're doing, you guys are deciding the distance and the time. Okay, so you know that you're gonna have uh, so like city one and city two. All right, so you need to find out what the distance you're gonna use Google and find the distance from city one to city two. I don't know what that distance is gonna be. Let's pretend that it is. 25 kilometers I'm not sure okay let's just pretend that it's 25 kilometers um, so you're gonna find that on Google so the distance is 25 kilometers now you need to come up with the time now you guys will create the time so figure out how long you think it's gonna take to go that 25 kilometers I think that my tornado is gonna be going Oh, a little less than one kilometer per minute. So I'm gonna say it's gonna take 30 minutes. So again, you guys are really kind of, like you're making this up. Um, make sure that it's reasonable sounding. Um, but 25 kilometers in 30 minutes, that sounds that sounds reasonable. So um, now I've got my velocity equals distance over time. So I'm gonna take this equation and I'm just gonna rewrite it, but I'm gonna put my 25 in place of distance and my 30 in place of time. So velocity is now going to be 25 divided by 30, like that. Um, now you can use whatever you need to for a calculator. I'm going to use my computer real quick. Use your phone, use your computer, 25 divided by 30. You're going to get 0 0.83. 0.83. Three, and that's kilometers per, oh man, that's a minute. Yeah, well, you would want to have an N in there, minute. All right, so that would be your, your process for finding velocity. Remember, you're picking the, the cities, find how far apart they are on Google, come up with a, a reasonable time, um, and then divide them so that you come up with the velocity. And you're going to have to type up how you did that in your actual assignment. All right, there you go, guys.